Hello guys, welcome to the second part of my commentary on Mr. Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah's speech. In the last part, I talked uh, to you uh, about what uh, Mr. Hassan Nasrullah said in his uh, last speech. He talked about his uh, being fine, and no physical problem. He talked about uh, Al-Qalamun region and the progress of uh, the resistance movement. He talked about the necessity of Lebanese army involvement in the conflict with uh, fighting with the terrorists. And uh, at the end I uh, reached to this point where Mr. Hassan Nasrallah talked about Bahraini revolution. He told, uh, he actually advised the Bahraini revolutionists to be firm, to be, to be firm in their belief, to not to get intimidated by the threats and viciousness of Al Khalifa, which is being is being supported by the brutal regime, an inhumane regime of Saudi Arabia. He told uh, Bahraini revolutionists that it's the uh, in all the revolutions the the the, op, uh, the oppressor ones would do this would imprison the leaders of the revolution. So that's what's happening in the Bahrain uh, as well. Uh, you, you know that lots of uh, atrocities are being done to these uh, really, really brave people. Okay, um, uh, one of the parts which Mr. Sayyid Hassan, Hassan Nasrullah mentioned was the Yemen war. The war which was launched by Saudi Arabia, a government which supports the terrorists officially and without any uh, without any con concealing anything. This is very, very interesting. So, uh, this government, this terrorist government is supported by the US government. Anyway, there were some uh, objectives set by uh, Saudi government before invading Yemen. Mr. Said Hassan Nasrullah said that none of these objectives were reached none and the results was completely opposite to what they wanted to be what wanted them to be actually they totally and utterly backfired as Allah movement al houthis are stronger than ever no tribe very limited tribes in yemen want saudi arabia and this is horrible for them. Although they, they did lots of crimes, they committed lots of crimes, and they to, uh, almost completely demolished the infrastructure of Yemeni, Yemeni's country. At the end, he uh, mentioned that Saudi Arabia is in invading, in incursion on Yemen is worse than Israeli people when they attacked Gaza Gaza when they attacked the south of Lebanon. Okay, I'm getting to that five minutes that I talked to you about, so I'm going to wrap it up. I hope this was helpful for you and you could get a uh, perspective of what happened in that speech, what, what was said. Thanks for watching me again. I will, will be back with more political commentaries if God helps me to do so.